Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on finding surface area of a square pyramid. Let's attempt to draw a square pyramid. Hopefully this will come out for us. Pyramid has a height and it looks like a pyramid. Uh, all right, so here's my pyramid. And I'm going to shade a little triangle in here inside the, the pyramid. And this triangle is uh, quite important for us. Let me draw this triangle outside here. Okay, so hopefully you can see it. So here is the height. We're given height is equal to 12 centimeters. And the base here is 10 centimeters. Since it's a square, halfway from the center goes up. This is 5 centimeter. Now, we were given the slant of the line is equal to 13 centimeter. Now, even if they didn't give us this one, that's this one, this S here, we could use the Pythagorean theorem. This will give you a 13 squared anyway. Okay, so this one is really equal to S squared. So we we're asked to find a surface area. So surface area, we have five surfaces. Okay, so the bottom base, which is a square base, that's 10 times 10. Let's write a base in here. This one is equal to 10 times 10, or 100 centimeters squared. And now all we have to do is find four isosceles triangle. They're not quite equilateral. Here's our height, which is 12. Here's our base, which is uh, 5. So I'm drawing the side face now. Let's see, what's the best way? This is 13, actually. Okay, this is 10, 5 on this side, and 5 on this side. So 5 plus 5 is 10. Okay. I hope you can see it. Now, the side area is not the triangle I shaded. This triangle is inside the pyramid, if you can imagine it. The area, I need to calculate the surface area, is on the side. Okay, so if you look head on, looking this way, you'll see you have a base, which is the bottom of the square, which is 10 centimeters. Okay, then you have the slanted line here, equal to 13 centimeters. I think this is where the confusing part of a lot of students. The slanted height here, it's not the height of the pyramid. They're different. Okay, so on the side of the surface, this one is a right triangle here. I don't know if you can imagine it. Okay, so on the side of each side of the square pyramid, you have uh, this triangle here, isosceles triangle. Isosceles. Let's see. I want to make sure I spell it right for you so that. It doesn't look weird for you, okay? So it's I saw so see. Oh, let me start again. I saw see let's there we go. I saw so let's triangle. All right. So once we have that, then the rest of the stuff it's pretty easy. I duplicate this I saw so let's triangle here. So area is we have four of this. Okay. So it's four times half base times height. So this one is equal to 2 times 10 times 13, which is 260. Okay. So area total is equal to 360 centimeter, centimeter squared. Okay, so here's the final answer. All right, I hope it's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.